But the question on everyone's mind is, what is FTP? What is my FTP? Uh, what's the best way of doing FTP training? What's the best FTP test? So I'll do two sort of FTP tests. One of them definitely is, one of them isn't. Um, so we have my time trial up the Aspen. So I was in France. I'd had a big heavy week. But anyway, I did a TT. And we basically hit, if we go onto the power curve, we hit 300 skis for 20 minutes. So I'm 60 kilos, so that was 5 watts per kilo. Um, I might have been a little a little heavier then, maybe, but anyway, it was pretty much 5 watts per kilo at that time. I did not weigh myself on the day, unfortunately. So if we look at, no, that's the wrong segment, it's this one here. 304 watts, 16.6 k's an hour for a 5.4 kilometer segment. 191 out of 14,000, so no, not not incredible, but decent nonetheless, decent nonetheless. So there, if we look at the old analysis, what was my like motivation? So my motivation was literally just the number. If you look at my heart rate, my heart rate is very low because I had a big training week. I think I did almost 600 kilometers that week, so my heart rate is very low. So it looks like I wasn't really trying, but I can tell you I was really going for it. Like, I hurt a lot, I would say. Um, I felt really bad at the end, so I was really happy because... Often, I know I don't push myself hard enough. Um, I had slight, slight tailwind, not going to lie, up, up the climb. But it was uh, it was enjoyable. I was really motoring. Had some nice nice efforts up around the hairpins and stuff. And altogether, it was quite nice. We had a little peak here um, around one of the hairpins, I think it was. Yep. Um, but anyway, it was, it was a very good climb. Almost 20 minutes exactly um, for this 5.4 kilometer climb. Um, so, yeah. It was it was solid, but I feel like could I have gone faster with the group? Yeah, probably. If someone was on the front hitting maybe three twenty watts for me or three ten watts, I probably could have hold, held the wheel or at least gone a lot harder. But maybe then if I'd blown up, I wouldn't. Have, I would have just blown up and been like, "Matt." Well, this one I was like, "Nah, I'm I'm hitting three hundred watts today." There was no, there was no doubt about it. Um, so anyway, then I went. Uh, we're going to my training log. Uh, Quick, quick, quick. Sorry about the internet. Anyway, so if we go, this was in July. So we did uh, just a bit of history about FTP and why I think it's not always the best. But anyway, so we had. No, that's the wrong week. Yeah, this one. So I got to France. No, no, this was. So this I was in the UK. That was when I was in the UK. Then I went to France. Oh no, Monday I had a rest day because I was building on a bike. Then I went to France on. Tuesday, I had a late ride up the Tourmalet, that was beaut, then we went to Po to watch the Tour de France stage, so that was a big day out, 130k, 118k again watching Tour de France, and then I had a 24k in the morning, um, which was pretty chill, I think I might have done one or two efforts, and then I went up the Aspen, um, and I did a TT, and it was uh, it was hard, but if you look, I've had quite a big training block recently, uh, if we go the week before, I, I was it was solid, this is before my exam, so when my exams were happening, so I wasn't wasn't big week, so I suddenly had a massive increase in training volume, and I managed to hit 300 watts, so would my FTP be higher if I tapered? Yeah, probably, so that's the thing, it's like, on the day, I hit 300 watts, so I don't know what my FTP would be, we can, we can Google it real quick, um, but obviously it, it wouldn't be as high, just because I was very fatigued, uh, so if you think about Whatever it would be, I don't know the internet's playing up. I don't know, maybe it's back. Yeah, two hundred eighty-five watts. That would be my FTP. So then we did another one. Uh, so we'll go back to the training log. So this is my FTP test on July the twentieth. Then got back, did some decent training. Um, hit like, did my PR up Box Hill, but not great numbers. Then we had a decent like four hundred k week. So that was that was solid. Um. Then I had a then I did a crit didn't really help much I was doing a bit of work that week so not the best and then again a big week four hundred thirty k's so that was that was a fat week as well I don't know what I was doing then it was big weeks and then here I went on holiday so this was just like easy training didn't have a power meter or anything so I was just like on a bike um just pretty chill didn't really do any efforts or anything went running here. Basically, I had a rest, rest week. I think I went running once and swam. And I got back and did an FTP test of 5 watts per kilo. So for me, I'll, just, I'll tell you about the protocol in a minute. But for me, I feel like 
it would have been higher if, let's say, on the week, August the 21st, 27th, I'd really smashed that week out and done maybe, I don't know, 400Ks that week or 300Ks that week and done some real good intervals. Like I haven't, I, If you look at my training, I did a lot of tempo in France and stuff, but and I did a bit of hill climb intervals, but most of this has just been long endurance rides, which definitely does help your FTP. It's not the best way of increasing your FTP, but it definitely does help. Um, that that is not not. I don't know. I think I did a, maybe. I think I did close to like two ninety watts here or something. Or maybe on this 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 one I can't exactly remember. But um, so I think this was a bit of an FTP effort on this ride here. Um, yeah, on this on the tour of Richmond Park. I seem to remember this. I think I did like two ninety or something. So yeah, that was a decent FTP effort. But you can see I haven't done much FTP effort. So if I'd done a bit more. FTP efforts in the following weeks after doing the Pyrenees. So in the Pyrenees and Alps, I basically just did tempo efforts up every climb and some threshold efforts, and it was really good. But anyway, this is where I got my 5 watts per kilo FTP, uh, so I was very happy about this. People are going to be like, oh, you didn't actually do it because I got zeros in your power meter, but that's because my power cut out. So, I mean, I'll, I'll take that. Um, so... Basically, I don't have a 20-minute climb, so when I was in France, obviously it's really easy to find a 20-minute climb, because there's just everywhere. But instead, I live in London, and we don't have 20-minute climbs. We have Box Hill, or Box False Flat, as someone said the other day. Uh, it's like a 5% to 2-3 kilometer climb. Um, so anyway, here's my ride. So this is the first, the first interval was 334 watts, but it wasn't, it was 340, because there's a massive cutout here, as you can see. Um... Which was not, not very good. Um, so I was eight minutes thirty. Um, that climb, actually, let's just go on the laps. It's a bit easier to see. So I did like three hundred and forty watts here, and I did three sixteen. But that again had two big cutouts, and it was more like three thirty something. And anyway, add those two together times by point nine. You probably know it. That's the eight minute th um, way of calculating your threshold. And I got five watts per kilo. Now that definitely benefits me because if we look on, if we look at my power curve, um, which we will do in a bit, I'm. It's weird. I like feature very highly on um five minute power just because I think I have a lot of five minute climbs near me and I haven't really done many twenty minute efforts. But with my five minute power, I've done three seventy, but I've actually done three eighty. But power cut out. But anyway, so you can see that's a lot higher, um, a lot lot higher. Um, in comparison to my in my ten minute, my ten minute again is like three three fifteen. I've never really done ten minute full gas, and then twenty minutes is like three hundred watts. So doing an eight minute effort, you can definitely see what will help me because I'm a bit more, I'm better at VO two max intervals, which is basically what the eight minute is rather than threshold intervals. And you can see that also because my second interval was so much lower. So then I got five watts per kilo. But in reality, has my fitness gone up? Is that by twenty watts? Because three hundred and twenty watts. Basically, um, if we do 320, well, actually, no, 320, 300 divided by 0.95, and that will get me how much I'd have to do for 20 minutes. And has have I increased to 320 watts? Like, have I from my 300 watts? Maybe. So 316 watts, sorry. But then again, that, that it's so hard to compare because at that time I was so fatigued. So maybe before the Aspen, I've had a couple rest days. Then maybe I could have done three hundred and twenty watts then, but if you see, if you now see what I mean, trying to figure out your FTP is so hard because you need to do almost identical week beforehand, and you need to have similar like motivations for your mind. You want to also try and do it on similar climb, climb or flat. I haven't even got into that, but let's say you do an FTP test on the flat, your watts are not going to be as nearly as high on the climb if you're used to doing intervals on the climb. That's why. I've been doing a lot more intervals on the flat to try and get my FTP higher on the flat, which again is ridiculous. So when people say that FTP is like 5 watts per kilo, it's like, right, it was 5 watts per kilo on that day, and it's a good indication of your fitness, but it's not the be-all or end-all, because if you can, you might be able to do 20 minutes, 340 watts, let's say, and you weigh 60 kilos, and it's like, wow, that's insane. But let's say after like 2 hours, that decreases to 300 watts, and someone else can do 320 watts, and then it decreases to 315 watts after two hours, then they're going to be the stronger ride, they're going to be the climb if they're a similar weight. Um, so it's really variable. So we do my first FTP test, uh, which would have been in Jan 2016, in February, I think it was. I just got my power meter. 
So you can see the amount of training I was doing was a bit bit of a joke. Um, not much, not much training going on here. Yeah, here we go. I did four hundred and forty four watts on the turbo trainer for twenty minutes. Uh, so that was like well over four watts per kilo, which I was pretty gassed about that then. I was like, oh, big, big number. So that was literally my first, first FTP test. Got four hundred watts, uh, four hundred watts, <laughs> four watts per kilo. Um, so yeah, that was. And if you look how much training I'm doing, it's it's not much. So apparently I, I've I've only gone up one watt per kilo. Well, no, over one watt per kilo because it's now five watts per kilo FTP. Um, but you can see again, I then did another FTP test some other time in maybe it was may or something i mean it would have been on wednesday sometime no when was it i don't know when it was sorry i'm trying to find it it might have been this one no oh no wednesday that's what i'm looking at the wrong one. i'm looking at the wrong day sorry about this yeah here we go ftp test 263 watts so my ftp was then 4.2 kilo 4.2 watts per kilo roughly but again, that's just on one day on the turbo training. If I then tried to do that outside, I probably would have got a higher number. So what I'm trying to say, sorry, this video has gone on for absolutely ever. Um, what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't really matter what your FTP is every day because it changes every day. But what it does matter is the trends. Are you going up? And I think testing frequently, testing every six weeks is so important because otherwise you get to the state, which I am at the moment, where you have the magic number. Everyone's like, oh, five watts per kilo, magic number, which to me is complete bollocks because five watts per kilo, 80 kilos is very different to five watts per kilo, 60 kilos. That's a different video. I'm going to do a different video on that. So I'll link that to the next one because I am I need to make a video on weight what per kilo is. Um, but anyway... It's, it, everyone says it's a magic number, but now I'm like, well, I don't really want to do one, because let's say I get 4.9, and everyone am like, oh, well, you're not as good as you were, you are not got the magic five, you're not, like, the best climber, sorry about that. Um, so, it, it will just be, like, questions above me. But then I think, well, I'm going to Adelaide in January, so I think then I, I'll find some 20-minute climbs and smash out a 20-minute interval before, when I first get there, smash out one after, my, after when I leave, and we'll see the progression because I'll finally have a 20 minute climb to do it instead of trying to do it on a turbo trainer, which is never as good. Um, so cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed my ramblings about FTP. What is your FTP? Leave it, leave it in the comment below. And also, do you believe your FTP changes every day? See ya.